Government mandates for greater fuel economy are driving the requirements for miles per gallon from current levels to over 50 miles per gallon in the U.S. in 2025 and even sooner in Europe. Now what's interesting is that this rate of change is actually going to become four times greater than it is now mid-decade. So cars that are starting to be designed right now are actually going to be the first that have to meet these new, more stringent regulations. So these changes are forcing a new level of innovation that's unlike anything we've seen in the last 50 years in the automotive industry. Unfortunately, engineers aren't going to be able to rely on the experience that they've built up over the last 50 years designing and building steel welded automotive structures. So automotive engineers can try and address uh, these changes and, and uh, more stringent mandates by looking at the vehicle in three different ways. First, you can make improvements to the powertrain. That would be uh, electric drive, hybrid drive. Uh, you can reduce uh, the rolling resistance, uh, aerodynamics can be made more efficient, uh, reduction in performance, and finally weight uh, can be reduced. Now the interesting thing about weight is that if you reduce weight it also makes it a lot easier to make a more efficient drivetrain, also makes it easier to do things like uh, reduce rolling resistance. Now if you design a lighter vehicle you can't just go into a current design and remove for instance, accessories, uh, insulation, carpeting, which an OEM tried to do to one of their sports cars to improve performance. In that attempt, they were able to get out about 150 kilograms out of the car. Now, Jaguar, in their Range Rover Sport, was actually able to take 300 kilograms out of the frame. So they did a design for lightweight, and by taking 300 kilograms out of the frame, they were able to get an additional 200 kilograms elsewhere in the vehicle. And that's a result of what's known as the weight reduction spiral. So if you make a lighter car body, then as a result, the chassis can be lighter, the engine can be smaller, you can have fewer batteries, reduce the capacity of the fuel tank, and you can get about 50% additional weight savings over the weight you remove from the body in white. So making a lighter car body, a lighter body in white, is a great approach to reducing weight. A recent study that the Aberdeen Group did for us uh, of the major OEMs and, and tier ones throughout the world indicated that almost 80%, and this was not a surprise, felt that the fuel economy regulations is the number one pressure that's driving change right now. And drivetrain innovation uh, was really the number one strategy that uh, the OEMs are using to try and, and address these changes. But light weighting actually came in number two. And what was surprising was when it came to the technical challenge, light weighting was actually the number one response of nearly half of the people that were interviewed. Nine out of 10 of the respondents actually said that they are already starting a light weighting program right now to try and address the impact of these uh, fuel economy regulations.